Nuri Sahin The talented midfielder is probably best known for his playing days for Dortmund and Real Madrid. But what happened to the young prospect from Turkey? He retired in 2021 and has since become a manager in Turkey. But did you know the midfielder has graduated from Harvard University? Footballers are often thought of as simple minds, but Sahin is the rather opposite of his former colleagues. He's won a lot and been at some of the best clubs in Europe, but many were surprised when he showed up as a manager in his home country, Turkey. This is the untold story of Nuri Sahin, the wonder kid from West Germany. The Turkish Wonder Kid Nuri Sahin was born in Ludenscheid, West Germany, in 1988. His parents came to the country before he was born, so Sahin grew up watching German football on the TV and was influenced by it on the football pitch. The former midfielder was only four years old when he joined Meinertshagen, a local club outside of Dortmund. Sahin left the club in 2001 for Borussia Dortmund, but had to wait four years for his debut. His debut came in 2005, and at that point, the 16-year-old became the youngest player ever in a Bundesliga match. The record was later broken by Dortmund striker Josefa Mokoko. A few months later, he also became the youngest goal scorer ever when he got the ball in the net against Nuremberg, 34 days after his 17th birthday. In the 2007-2008 season, when he went out on loan to Feyenoord and the young midfielder impressed in the Netherlands, during his time at Feyenoord, the midfielder got married to his cousin, a marriage which actually is illegal in many European countries. He ended up being an important figure at Dortmund in the next season, and vital for Jurgen Klopp's title-winning team in the 2010-2011 season. He scored six goals and provided eight assists, and was voted as the player of the season in the Bundesliga. Jurgen Klopp has a special place in San's heart. He has such a big influence on me, as he does on all his players. Ask any of the guys at Dortmund, Mainz, or Liverpool. They'll tell you the same. The stage was set for Saad, but his career didn't go as planned after that season. How could a promising career end without much recognition? Missed Opportunities In the summer of 2011, Real Madrid came knocking on Dortmund's door. José Morin wanted Saad for his team, but the Portuguese usually gets what he wants. The midfielder signed a deal for six years, but his first months in the Spanish capital were destroyed by injuries. He struggled in the Real Madrid shirt, and after only a year, he was loaned out to Liverpool in the Premier League. But the career restart didn't go as planned. After only 12 games in the first half of the season at Merseyside, he turned around and found his true home in Dortmund. Later on, he talked about his move to England. I did not fail at Liverpool. To play at Anfield was a wonderful experience, but thank God I've left Brendan Rodgers. I belong at Dortmund, 100%. He spent the next five years back at Dortmund. But Son was haunted by injuries for most of the time. In his last four seasons at Signal Laduna Park, he only managed to play 38 league games. He was released from the club in 2018 and went to Werder Bremen, before retiring at Antalya Spor in the summer of 2022. What could it have been for the young wonder boy? A promising manager career. Do you remember this video of Son from 2022? Most of us believe Nuri Son's managerial career started with Antalya Spor, but the charismatic 34 year old was a pretty experienced coach even before joining the Turkish side as a player in 2020. Son actually went back to his boyhood club Minor Tagen in 2015 to coach, while still playing for Dortmund. The experiment went over all expectations for Minor Tagen and for the midfielder. The German club was at the end of three promotions in four years in 2019 and ended up in the Oberliga Westfalen. That is the fifth level in the German football pyramid. He played a big part in the club's uprising, but after his move to Werder Bremen in 2018, he had to leave his role. But his brother's still the assistant manager for Minor Tagen. One could argue that a man who had played under the likes of Jurgen Klopp and Jose Marin had to end up as a coach at some point, and nobody was wrong about Nuri San. In the summer of 2018, he got approved for a sports management class at Harvard Business School with players like Kaka and Edwin van der Sar. He finished it and went home to Turkey in 2020 on a player-coach contract for Antalya Spor. It went further apart between the games for San, but he was a force to be reckoned with on the sideline in every match. 
In the fall of 2021, he had proved enough and was given the managerial position at the club. In his first season, he took Antalya Spor on a 14 unbeaten game run and ended in 7th place in the Super League. But the first half of this season hasn't gone well for San and Antalya Spor. The team is currently a goal difference of a relegation spot in the league. The 34-year-old coach may have to try and fail sometimes before finding a style of play. San was one of the biggest talents of football in the early 2000s, and now he's trying to make it as a manager, despite his young age. He is ambitious and well-known in the big leagues of Europe. Is it a possibility for San in England, Spain, or maybe at his old club Dortmund at some point? Time will tell for the young and charismatic manager. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure to follow and subscribe for future videos from Untold Football. Do you have any ideas for an untold or interesting story in the footballing world? Please leave a comment after the video. We are here for the Untold Football Stories.